Hi folks, I got some news and that is that I'm moving back to New Zealand in August. I have been over here in the UK for two years now and the time seemed about right to go back and there are a few reasons for this. I went back for a visit in April this year and it just made me realise really that two years is too long to be away and in my current job I can't really take more than a couple of weeks off at a time. I went for three weeks and that just felt like enough time, especially because it takes such a long time to get over to New Zealand. It's about 36 hours of traveling. And so by the time we've got over the jet lag, it's not really that long. Um, and certainly I wouldn't want to wait for another two years to go back again. Then there is my design work. Now I work a day job as well as doing my design on the side. And while I can work on it while I'm doing the day job, you know, I get up early in the morning and I work on my side projects before I go to my work, which pays the bills. So even though that is the case, I can work on it now. Um, I, I really would like a very focused period of time to just crack down and really get as much done in a short period of time as possible. And I don't think that that is going to be an option staying here for the time being. So while working in a bookshop has been fantastic and I've met a lot of interesting people through it, I really do feel like now is the time to focus on what is most important to me in terms of my career and that is the book design. Thirdly, there's my student loan, which is the most boring reason, but Basically, New Zealand does interest-free student loans and you don't have to start paying them back until you start earning a certain amount. However, as soon as you go overseas, you start paying interest and it's it's a six month cutoff. So you can go overseas for six months and go back and it's not a problem. But as soon as you hit that six month mark, you start paying interest and they backdate it to when you first left the country. So I've been accruing quite a lot of interest on this loan. And if I want to pay it off, which I do because I want the freedom to be able to travel and live over here again and things like that, then I really need to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Paying it off from over here wasn't going to be an option because living in London, I was living paycheck to paycheck. It was so, so expensive for rent, for travel, um, even for food in London. I just didn't have any money left over for saving. And since I've moved out of London, that's less of an issue. And I do get paid a little bit more in this, in this role that I'm in at the moment. After tax, it doesn't actually end up being much more. So as much as I love book selling and being around books all day, I don't think it is sustainable at the moment. So while I will need to get a job when I go back to New Zealand eventually, um, I, I don't have to do so straight away. So I can spend a bit of time really focusing on that design work and then look into getting either some part-time or full-time work. Um, I'll be staying with my parents for a bit, at least to begin with, um, so I sort of find my feet and figure out where in New Zealand I want to be. But that one is a work in progress. You might be wondering how one picks up all of one's stuff and moves to the other side of the world. And when I came over here, I only had one suitcase. It was a big suitcase, but it was only one suitcase. Um, and since then I have accumulated rather a lot more stuff. So I'm in the process of dramatically downsizing. I will be shipping a few things back because I've got a lot of books which are very valuable to me in my design work. So I don't want to let those go, especially because books are so expensive in New Zealand. But aside from those few boxes of books, I really want to get it back down to one suitcase again, which is going to be a challenge. But I have already got rid of most of my stuff. Um, my wardrobe is what you might call a capsule wardrobe now, I guess. And yeah, the books are down to about two shelves worth. I won't ramble on about that anymore here, but if you are interested in my process of deciding which books to bring back and which ones to sell and give away, then um, let me know in the comments and I can talk about that. Because I know that books are a very difficult thing to declutter and um, that's something that a lot of people struggle with. So thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with a bit of footage from my recent New Zealand trip and I think you will understand the other reason that I want to go back to this country. And if you want to see more footage, I've got um, a link to my New Zealand vlog or vlogs down below. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you. 